Here's how it works. Whenever Christianity becomes concerned primarily with the virtue of individuals, it tacitly legitimates whatever social system is in place. Systemic justice is concerned with the way the structures of society work and, this is critically important, the litmus test for whether or not a given um, system is just or not is you look at the results. Systemic justice is a results-oriented justice. If you have a system that produces a pretty large and radically impoverished class, then no matter how fair the rules are enforced, and no matter how democratically those rules are made, it's not a just society. If you have a society in which 1% of the population own 43% of the wealth, Pretty clear that 1% has structured the society, so it kind of worked out that way, and they have a tremendous amount of power to sustain it. That's the figure in the United States, by the way. The wealthiest 1% of us own 43% of the wealth in this country. I'm not in the least bit interested in making the middle class feel guilty because there are poor people and we're comfortable. What I want to do is I want to get the bottom 98% of us angry as hell about the way the elites are structuring this society in their own narrow self-interest to the detriment of all the rest of us. Not just to the detriment of the bottom 30%. Can, can you imagine, by the way, living? Some of you do this, I know, so you can't imagine. The median family income in the United States is $28,000 a year. If you have one or two kids, can you imagine living on $28,000 a year? As I say, maybe some of you come close to that, I don't know. But I mean, I'm not interested in having the middle class feel like, oh my God, there are people starving in the world and I'm comfortable. You got to avoid that kind of thing if you want to talk justice to people. It's not about making people feel guilty. It's about raising their political consciousness about the way in which this society, like most societies in the world, have been structured to serve the self-interest of the wealthy and powerful.